New information tonight about the sex abuse investigation surrounding the Southern Baptist Church. Now a prominent local pastor is being faulted for being complacent in the scandal. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. The Houston Chronicle reports that current pastor of Bellevue Baptist failed to immediately fire an offender. And tonight, Pastor Steve Gaines is responding. Local 24 News reporter Rebecca Butcher has tonight's top story and joins us in the studio. Rebecca. Yeah, Katina, Richard, good evening. Shock is the word for many that comes to mind with these uh, allegations in this report. Former Southern Baptist Convention president and current Bellevue Baptist pastor Steve Gaines is accused of mishandling allegations of sexual abuse. Now he says his staff is trained to detect it. Bellevue Baptist Church pastor Steve Gaines admits waiting six months to fire a pastor who confessed to molestation, according to the Houston Chronicle. When Local 24 News asked Pastor Gaines about the incident, he said in part, quote, there should be absolutely no tolerance for any sort of abuse. Consequently, all of our staff have been and are being trained on an ongoing basis to detect abuse and know what to do if it is suspected or reported. The widespread sexual abuse came to light when the Houston Chronicle uncovered more than 200 cases. Since the report, the Southern Baptist Convention has approved reforms. None of these reforms, I would say, would necessarily be, it could, would be nearly as effective as just the simple fact of believing people when they come forward with allegations. Houston Chronicle reporter Robert Downen tells me in many of the cases that he researched, victims were not believed and in some cases, law enforcement were never notified. And with a convention working as a cooperative of more than 47,000 churches, where no church has direct say-so over another, offenders can more easily slip from one church to another. And I think that there's really been a lot of grappling with how that, how this idea of local church autonomy has been, has very much so allowed predators to kind of just move in and out of churches without any kind of warning for many churches, and a lot of times the tragic ends. J.D. Greer is the current SBC president. He has been actively responding on Twitter this week, condemning the reports of abuse and also encouraging any victims to come forward. If you yourself are facing abuse, you're urged to contact and call the National Sexual Assault Hotline. That's 800-856, or rather 656-HOPE. I'm live in the studio, Rebecca Butcher, Local 24 News.